right away, I would say within a matter of weeks, we noticed, I noticed, an increase in the number of phone calls. We pretty much statisized everything around here, and there was definitely an increase in phone calls. Referrals are great. In fact, we show you a checklist with over 60 items, there might be up to 90 now, of how to actually inspire even more referrals. There's only three ways, really, to increase your revenue. The first step is to increase the number of clients. That's the first way. The second way is to increase the size of transactions. And the third way is to increase the frequency of transactions. So the first step is to maximize what you're already doing. The second step is geometric growth. If you can get a 10% increase in clients from 10 different sources, you have grown your business or your client base by 100%. Step number three is to borrow successes. There are thousands of successful actions that other businesses are doing that you may have never even thought of doing. And when you incorporate the actions of other businesses that are successful that none of your competitors are doing, cause an explosion of inflow of clients. Okay, here's your next action checklist for referral marketing. And the tip for today or this week is um, uh, the approach of how how is the information or how is the assistance I've been giving you still working for you? Now it's a little bit different for each industry and you're going to have to tailor it. Obviously a CPA would do it differently than a dentist and a dentist would do it a lot differently than an architect, etc. But I believe that one of the lost arts of marketing is calling people and ask them how they're doing and how, uh, you know, I know that we did the implant with, for you uh, three months ago. How does it feel? Is it, is it tight? Do you have any problems with it? Do you have any complications with it? And, and they go, no, everything's fine. And you go, great. But by the way, do you know anybody that you would like to refer? The idea that you're calling them and genuinely want to know how they're doing. CPA, hey, you know, I know we filed your taxes in April. Uh, did you get your tax return? Okay, are, is everything, are you happy with the service that we rendered? Absolutely. By the way, I want to let you know the tax season's over, but you know what? We service small businesses. We do accounting, we do bookkeeping, et cetera, et cetera. Here's the following suite of services that we offer. I was just wondering to know, you know, now that we know we did such a great job on your taxes, do you know anybody who needs small business services? The phone call, checking up as a quality control point, asking how they're doing, and then asking for the referral is a very powerful way to do that. It's seasonal for some, I think for tax specialists, I think a great time to call people is in May and June, ask them how they felt, you can even have them do kind of like you're doing a survey to see how our service was rendered, and then now launch into your next aspect of marketing, which is small business services, and do that through phone calls. You can also do that through emails, and you can do that through social media. Do the checklist we've provided, come up with your own bright ideas, but check with people, see how they're doing, and then ask them for a referral. I know that you will do well with this approach.